This is the unopened flower bud and the flower stalk of a wild field garlic. If you can train your eyes and your brain to see these during the short season that they are out, you are in for a real treat. Most people don't even notice them at all. The flower stalks or scapes of the wild field garlic are delicious, and wild field garlic are considered a weed all over the place, so you can enjoy all you want. Hey, welcome to Haphazard Homestead. I'm Holly Chris. I'm glad you're here. I want to help you train your vision to see these wild field garlic scapes, even if you're looking at this video on a tiny little phone. I'm going to show you what to do with these wild field garlic scapes in the kitchen, too. And Ashley Green, I hope this helps answer your question about what to do with the wild field garlic scapes that are taking over your yard. How do you know that this is a wild field garlic? It's easy once you take a close look. This is how you can tell, even on the little ones. See the grooves? You can feel those grooves. See the grooves there? You can definitely see it on these on the leaves there. See those grooves? And see how these leaves are hollow. See how that's hollow? Boom. There it is. This wild field garlic is easy to see here with the background of the old leaves. And it's a really big one, the biggest one I've ever seen. It's 48 inches tall. Wild field garlic scapes are not so easy to see when they're growing out in the grass of a meadow where they're most common. See how many of these wild field garlic scapes that you can see. And I'll give you a hint. There's at least one in here that I missed picking. See if you can spot that one. We're just in a field. What do you see? What do you see? Take a look. You see that? You see that right there? Right there. That is the wild field garlic. There it is. Take a look at that. That's the whole thing. There it is, right there. That's all too stiff. There's our first leaf. Compared to an onion, that's a key of garlic, is that it has leaves that come off the stem. This is a hard neck garlic, because see how that's hard neck? It's not a soft neck. There's another one. That leaf is still okay to eat. It'll be a little hot, maybe. It's a nice tall one. That's okay to eat. And then we come up to the scape. That whole scape is going to be good. See that right there? That is the scape. All I'll do for harvesting the scape is just come in, boom. You can see how that's nice and tender. It'll have good flavor. You see this one here? Yeah. I'm going to come in. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to take it right in here. Mm. That's a little, it's a little tough right there. Where is it not tough? It's probably right about... Mm, that's still a little tough. Mm, right about there. That one's a more stout, isn't it? It's good for flavor. But what do you see? Keep your eye out. Look, here, take a look for here. See that one there? Let's just get that one. Boom, that's nice and tender. Take a look at that one. There it is, right there. They're hard to see, but take a look. Look back here. See where they see one? Right there. See that? Can we come in? Take that one. They're getting enough to make it worthwhile, right? You think it won't matter, but once you start looking, there they are. Do you see it? Do you see it? Oh, yeah, there you see it. Look at that, right there. You see that? Right there. Look at it. There it is. Let's go get it. Oh, yeah, can you see that one? See that one right there? Look at that. Do you see those? Take a look at that. If you know what that white flower is, this is poison hemlock. But it's all right. It's A-OK -okay to take this wild field garlic right there. It's all right to take that. Look, this is several bulbs. There's two right in here. See that? One there. This is like a whole little clump. And there's one there. So look at, we're just adding it up. And once you start looking, you may be able to start seeing them from a distance. Look at that one right there. See how it just stands up so straight? See how it's dark green like that? If you don't see it now, you will. The brain starts keying in on a pattern and you can start to see things at a distance. Oh, can you see a dark green? Dark green. See there's one right there by the behind that wild field mustard. Back in the kitchen, 
These wild field garlic scapes are so easy to process. See, this one is a little stiff. The rest of these are all really nice and soft. See how that's just really nice and soft? Take a look at that. See how that's just nice and soft? This one is all supple. These are not quite so supple, right? That one, this one is stiff for sure, right? See how that one is just stiff? I'll use these separately because they're all about the same stage. They're just more stiff. I'll use those in a soup where they'll have some time to cook. If you pick more than you can use at one time, you can keep them in the refrigerator in a plastic bag for a few days, or you can blanch them for a couple minutes in boiling water and put them in the freezer. I'm going to show you something that I made for lunch that was incredibly good. Chances are you won't be making this exact recipe because I'm using the stems of the scaly inky cap mushroom, the Copernopsis variegata, and those are not all that common to be used. I also use the butt ends of some asparagus from my garden. I save the spears to serve by themselves, but these are the softer parts that are still tender, just not the asparagus spears. I'm gonna try one of these, one of these guys right in here. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's good. That has nice mild flavor. I'm sure you can figure out a lot of other ways to use these wild field garlic scapes. Don't hide them in a recipe though, because they have great flavor. Oh, and there it is. What do you think it tastes like? Let's find out with a live taste review. That was so good. I would pay money for that at a restaurant. So good. Now with your trained eye, I hope you can go out and find some wild field garlic scapes yourself. I hope things are going well at your place. Thanks for watching. Bye.